when someone wants to accept Islam and they're not sure if they're going to be able to follow all the rules yet, we tell that person, accept Islam. Accept Islam. Because no one gets everything at once. We have to understand when dealing with new Muslims, and this is a huge problem I have with how we deal with new Muslims, is we try to drop 23 years of revelation on the Quran on them in one day. The Quran was not revealed like this. It was revealed over a period of 23 years. And Aisha, peace be upon her, said, if the first things that Allah revealed was the issues of halal and haram, meaning what's uh, permissible and impermissible, everyone would have ran away from this. If the first thing Allah said to them was stop drinking, they would, nobody would have accepted Islam. If the first thing that was said to them was stop fornicating, they would have never accepted Islam. So it, she said the things that were revealed first were the issues of Jannah and Nar, heaven and hell, until the heart became so attached to Allah that it would accept anything that Allah gave it. So when someone is ready to accept Islam, but they say, I don't know if I'm going to be able to give up drinking. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put on the, the hijab yet, or if I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop doing this certain sin yet. We tell them that this is forbidden in Islam, but it does not prevent you from being a Muslim. Accept Islam, try to push that person towards Allah, let their heart become attached to Allah, and you won't need to tell them what to do. They will do it on their own. But if you make this a barrier for someone entering into Islam, you have thrown the entire sunnah out the window. Because the Prophet ﷺ brought people to Islam, he never turned anyone away.